maybe uh, here or on a piece of tape. I have people coming to me sometimes and they say, I heard your cassette. Well, there's a misunderstanding about that. I'm not in the cassette business. I don't make cassettes. Um, but wherever I go, it seems somebody's always got a tape recorder running or a video machine or something, and uh, they pass these things around and so on. Uh, but that's not my business, and I don't know which cassette you might be referring to or what it was I might have said. Uh, the talks are not some kind of a thing that uh, I memorized a long time ago and it all just tumbles out. I usually write them a few hours before I give them, and they're a piece from here and there and some repetition of what's come in the past. So if you've heard some of what I have to say before, uh, excuse me. Uh, not everybody has heard it, though. The topic has been advertised as the history of religion, and let me clarify that I don't have in mind to recite to you the details of the history of religion, to tell you in this year so-and-so did this, and then there was so-and-so, and that kind of thing. That's not what I mean by the history of religion. I'm talking about a view of the history of religion, that we could all gather up the facts as to uh, the sequence of events, but what does it mean? And how did it come to happen that way? And Muslims have a particular view of the history of religion, which I'd like to talk about, as well as the view that other people have. As it happens, the study of mankind usually called anthropology, of course, has a lot to say about religion. When the anthropologist takes up his subject, part of the investigation of man is man's religions. So anthropology has a lot to say about religion. It used to be that all the anthropologists basically would tell you the same thing if you asked them about religion. If you asked them, where did religion come from? How did it come to be the way it is? Uh, they all would give you back the same explanation. But in the last 30 or 40 years, there's been another school of thought developed, which was probably always there, but it's come to be uh, something that has to be recognized, that the anthropologists don't all tell the same story anymore. 